Engineer 775 with Pond Power Part 2. We've made some improvements, getting a lot more RPMs out of the out of the uh, turbine. What we've done is added an 8-inch inlet with a screen, and I'm going to go ahead and shoot that turbine over there. You can see it's moving a lot faster, and we're going to start doing some load. Uh, we messed up. Is it working? Okay. So we made this contraption. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. So what we can do is lift this up out. To flush, and then we can actually anchor this so I can control the level of the pond by two foot. I'm not dumping all the water out of my pond. This is great if I get extra water from rain, might as well make some electricity from it. I think we can make, based on what we've seen so far, at least 500 watts. But we're going to actually test that with some load testing and run it for several hours. But this is the contraption we've come up to flush the pond manually. Just come down and and um, it's as easy as it was to do it in reverse. You just push the pipe down. And then you should hear on the other end, it'll start the turbine up. It takes a while for the suction to develop on the tail end. And you can see all the air in the Rubbermaid. Yeah, it's not full. There's a ton of air. If you can see all the air bubbles. And once that works itself out, there she goes. You can hear the turbine getting faster, faster, faster. Now she's cranking. So we got got everything set up where we can actually develop automatically without touching anything. And run it for four, five, six hours, depending on what, what the weather is. But it's making great power regulated AC 120 volts. Too cool. All right. All right, let's get her started. Kind of lower our gizmo in. Just got to push in a little bit. And it'll start pulling air. And it just pulled down. When it pulls down like that, the siphon has begun. And the turbine will start up. And you get a ton of air, of course, a lot of pipe. And the speed's increasing. I don't know if you can hear the increase in sound. We don't have a full siphon yet. And that bucket gets... Oh, I hear it sounding good now. Uh, you know when the siphon fully develops is when it really starts sucking on the tail end. It's not there now. We're just running zero. You'll hear the sound change. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we're back we're, uh, with a load testing experiment on our low head micro turbine from Langston's Alternative Power. And I got a kilowatt meter hooked up, so we're going to kind of capture the power that we've created. Plus, we're going to start with uh, some 200 watt light bulbs. We've got uh, the ability to do close to a thousand watts on this light bar, but we're going to see what she can sustain. So, let's go ahead and get her fired up with our pond contraption. Okay, we're doing a little load testing here. The pond is really low because I've been doing a lot of testing. <laughs> so I'm losing, I've lost a uh, two foot of head right there. So um, these are 200 watt, that's a 200 watt light bulb. And uh, these are 75. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 300 and 350 watts. I heard the turbine slow down. See if we can sustain that. Again, my pond's dropped. I'm just setting up for testing. We'll be back to do some more, but there's a sustained 350 watts using the low head turbine out of the pond. Okay, we're load testing here. We have one 200 watt light bulb sustained on the, the strip. I'm gonna plug in another one. There's, there's 400 watts. And she is still holding. We got 400 watts of power from the turbine. Everything looking good. Little whirlpool. All right, I'm gonna go. Gonna go for the gusto. 600 watts. Now, is she gonna be able to hold that? I don't know, but that's 600 watts on this light bar. And she's working hard. Nope, she can't hold 600. <laughs> 